Welcome to your market update and charts today. It's the 17th of April 2024. I hope you're having a good Wednesday so far. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Looking across the news today, of course, there was a choppy session overnight as potential Middle East conflict escalation worries the market as only the Dow closes in positive territory. And alongside that, of course, we've got a more hawkish Fed than we've had for a little while in light of stubborn inflation. US futures are, however, slightly higher in early trading today, perhaps on the back of some reasonable earnings. Asian markets are slightly higher as well as a whole, though the ASX is trading near neutral and may fall for the fifth straight session if we don't finish in positive territory today. European equity futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open, but again, any gains should be mild at this stage if the futures are a good guide. The US dollar index edged higher again to mid-October levels on the fifth straight day of gains. There's some flight to safety evident in light of the Middle East, but of course, the Fed narrative is also helping USD strength with the thinking that any rate cuts are likely to be later in the year now. We're seeing gold closing in on a record 2400. Uh, copper pulled back from a key level at 435 in yesterday's trading. They're pretty neutral today in Asia so far. And all is just about holding support at the bottom of the range. So it would be good for inflation if it was to drop through that range and back towards $80 a barrel. Bitcoin threatened the support at Sixty-three and a half thousand yesterday, and continues to do the same in Asia today. A little bit of buying, perhaps coming in in early trading, maybe anticipating a bounce off that level, but really too early to tell in the day. Quite a lot going on in markets. We've obviously got U.S. earnings season ramping up. We've got the IMF meeting continuing. We've got some positive news coming out of New Zealand today with the CPI there dropping from last month's reading later on today we've got cpi coming out of the uk and the eurozone as well as ppi coming out of the uk as well we do have fed member speeches and we're expecting that hawkish narrative to continue and the beige book report will also be due today so again plenty for the markets to digest so as well as the data there's earnings and of course what's happening in the middle east a couple of charts of core ri today LYC was our regular chart of the day yesterday as it was tackling that 620 level. And you can see the significant bounce in this today. It's up in excess of 3%. With that 200 MA in focus, we actually think that there may be a more important level for this stock at around about this 672 level. So a move up from today's price would be around about 5.7%. We may get a pause around this 200 MA, but there does seem to be buying into this stock over the last three weeks, which suggests there could be a positive move going forward. After another day of weakness on the AUD yesterday versus the USD, we're seeing a bounce off this 64 cent level, which looks quite significant. This 64 cent level is the weekly pivot. So to bounce off that and move back over the daily pivot at 64.11, look significant we think there's a possible high probability trade if we breach 6434 uh, and we could see it up towards 6470 so around about a 35 pip gain potentially in the short term much of what happens after that will be data and fed dependent of course trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now